friends hope you are all doing well in today's video we will discuss how to add uh, your standard deviation data um, into your average results to plot a graph in origin software so for example here you can see this type of graph has been plotted and these lines um, above and below the data points these represent the standard deviation for example if you have performed the experiment in duplicates and replicates and, and you also calculated its uh, standard deviation or relative standard deviation along with its average value then you need to plot these data um, into your graph so uh, in this tutorial we will discuss how to uh, set the that values in origin software so that they can appear as a standard deviation for example i have this kind of um, uh, data in uh, excel sheet or origin software and i want to uh, plot a scattered or line graph of this data so what would i do for example this is the data for day one and this is the average values of um, day one experiment and this is the standard deviation of uh, experiment when i duplicate or triplicate um, uh, the uh, complete process or experiment and this is the data for day two and uh, along with its standard deviation that is in ey column and this is the data for day three and this is its relative uh, standard deviation and and similarly for day four standard deviation is marked as here for day five standard deviation has been given um, we have already discussed how to calculate um, standard deviation and relative standard deviation in our previous videos if you have not uh, watched that videos we will provide the link of that playlist in the description you can check from that so here the main thing is that how you can set these values as standard deviation and how would you obtain these values in the form of uh, lines above data above and below data points so for this uh, while plotting standard deviation you need to uh, select that column having the standard deviation values when you select that column right click on it and once you right click um, you can see the option of set as click on set as and then click on y error so here you can see we have selected um, uh, this column as y error so this value will appear uh, as a standard deviation of plus minus along y axis if you want to appear this on x axis uh, if this is the standard deviation of x axis you can click on x axis so for this again for day two we have to mark it as um, uh, set as y error again you can see that plus minus sign has been added similar similarly we can do this for the um, whole uh, data set we can set is as y error so that it can appear as standard deviation of the y data once you have um, set all the standard deviation data as a y error then you need to select the whole data um, by selecting from first column to the last column and then go to plot here you can select a uh, type of plot that you need either scattered or line so uh, we will select as scattered because it appears more uh, captivating as compared to line graph so um, we will select on scattered here you can see these lines have been added um, on the data set and these shows the uh, standard deviation and this is the uh, data that um, gray uh, or red dot uh, these represent day one and day two and so on so if you want to reduce the size of this you can um, click on it and then go to here and you can uh, select its size as 12 and whatever the font style you want for example times new roman you can select from here okay so for this if you want to add the borders to this graph just click on the graph once you click this will appear and you can select from here that is layer frame if you want to keep the layer frame as only line that is this one you can keep as this if you want to make the line frames as uh, with this, along with small lines you can select that is this one if you want to add data um, as on both y axis and on both x axis you can select whatever you need okay so we will select this as a because it um, we have already mentioned the dose on x axis here and y axis uh, residual turbidity if you want to increase the size of these data points you can uh, click on any of the point and you can increase its size from here 
for example if i keep it as 12 it will its size will increase in if you want to change its style uh, or color double click on any of the data point and here you can see uh, you can change the symbol you can keep uh, keep it as uh, according to your requirement for example if i keep this as in this form and then click on ok it will appear as this ok so you can automatically um, adjust the data a whole data by just setting the uh, values by just setting the format of only one data point ok so we have already already discussed about um, uh, formatting of graphs in origin if you have not checked the videos kindly check the previous videos in this playlist and um, if you want to read, um, format the size and um, font style of these access point just click on it and then go to here if you want to keep it um, as times new roman you can select times new Rom uh, new roman from here and then uh, you can select b for bold uh, and here again for x axis you can select uh, bold and then go to here and select times new roman so here you can um, add the data point along with its standard deviation in origin pro software hope this video helps you in um, plotting this type of graphs <laughs>